The Steam Deck hype is still rolling. I mean, I'm still hyped for the thing. I'm still excited. I cannot wait, but I am forced to wait. News has been little by little. There hasn't been a lot going on, but anytime I have the chance to talk about the Steam Deck and share my excitement with you guys and kind of intermingle and have conversations and interact with you guys, why the hell's not, right? So they do have some new information up that I want to go over I'm still quarter one, 2022. I'm hoping something gives and this, you know, trickles down a little bit. You know, some of those really early reservations are going to get theirs in December or around December. But, you know, it is what it is. I guess I have to be patient. I will patiently wait, but I don't want to because I want this thing in my hands now. But that's fine. That's fine. We'll let this thing roll out naturally. But yes, now they do have a frequently asked questions thing. And I think a lot of this stuff is obvious. But also at the same time, a lot of this stuff has kind of been in the air for some people and a lot of it was assumed. So it's kind of nice to have clarification from Valve themselves and answer these questions. Now, I, I know you can read this yourself. You know, you don't need me to read this to you like storybook time, but it's all the point of eliciting conversation, having discussions in the comment section, sharing the hype. And just kind of talking about things. So that's why I wanted to take a look at this real quick. Answers to some of the most common questions we're receiving from the community, press, and Gabe's inbox. That's what they call it? Oh, shit. But okay, let's let's keep it moving here. There's a few of them. Some of them, like I said, quite obvious. It's a PC. Handheld PC, but some of the stuff, it's good to have clarification on. Can you have multiple Steam accounts in one Steam Deck? Yes. Each account on the Steam Deck will keep its own local save data and settings. So... That, that's a good thing. I mean, kind of obvious. I'm pretty sure everything with the way a PC works, it's going to work here. But there are a few little curveballs with the way things work on this system, with the operating system and whatnot. So it's good to have clarification. Can I run non-Steam games through Proton on Steam Deck? Yes, you can run non-Steam games through Proton. We've talked a bit about Proton. And as I've stated plenty of times in my videos, like, yeah, I, I've had a PC... For years, many, many years, I've gamed on PCs, but I've never been hardcore into the PC world, but I've been more so embracing it as far as gaming goes as of late. So I'm learning and getting accustomed to things over time, uh, and it's fun. I mean, building PCs, gaming on PCs, learning how things work, screws it, right? It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it quite a bit lately, uh, but Proton... It's like a compatibility layer uh, for like Windows games, since this is not a Windows machine. Uh, so cool to see some uh, questions answered here regarding Proton. Will Steam on Steam Deck have an add a game feature like Steam on Desktop? I, I would imagine like this is a question that a lot of people were wondering because the UI, the version of Steam, everything's like new and different. And with this being its own thing, how is that going to work? But yeah, just plain and simple. Yes, we'll support adding games like we do for the desktop Steam client. So that is a huge plus because sometimes you'd be coming up on games, you know, that are cheaper and they weren't available through Steam or they are on Steam, but you got them through somewhere else. Well, you know, the, the case by case thing there um, or just having a game that's not available on Steam and adding it to your library through that. So yeah, they're going to support all that. Well, the UI... On Steam Deck replace big picture. I think they touched on this before, but yeah, that's what they're aiming for through the rollout, though the rollout will happen in stages, so not all at once. So the new Steam operating system with the uh, the way the UI is, eventually that will take over what big picture is. I very rarely use big picture, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how that all works out. Well, improvements to Proton for Steam Deck, like the anti-cheat support, also apply to Proton on desktop. So yes, pretty much they're just saying yes to everything. Don't have to go over it. Uh, we'll, we'll still look through it a little bit. But so that's a good thing with the operating system and Proton with the improvements, the additions there. It's not just for the Steam Deck. It's for Proton on desktop as well if you're running a system that way. So whatever's supported on the Steam Deck will be supported on, you know, other PCs, right? The whole thing with, uh, you know, there being more Steam Decks in the future, other companies making products like this, it's all it's all cool, but at the same time, it's a PC. 
So pretty much anything you do on your PC, you're going to be able to do on here. And anything that they're going to support on the Steam Deck is going to be crossed over to, you know, PC for that operating system and whatnot. How will SteamOS and Steam Deck handle offline mode when it comes to launching games? Just like a PC. They, they pretty much just should have put on here. If your question is regards to how a PC works or how things work normally with Steam on a PC, the answer is yes. It's going to work the same. Right, so just like a PC, you'll need to be online to download your games. It doesn't just happen by magic. You can't will it, and it, it just you know appears and play. Uh, you got to be online to download games and to play online multiplayer games. If you're not online, none of that shit's happening. I don't know who had to ask that question, but okay. Once the game's installed, you could play while Steam Deck is offline, unless the game requires an internet connection. What file system format does the micro SD card? This is one I don't think they answered before or we didn't 100% know. Maybe, or maybe I'm tripping here. Steam Deck micro SD cards use uh, EXT4 with case folding. Steam Deck formats SD cards to the proper format. So you're not gonna have to worry about doing it elsewhere. Um, just boom, pop in your micro SD card and it'll format it. Cool. Can Steam Deck be used as a PC controller? This one I didn't think about. But yes, you can use uh, the Steam Deck to a PC via remote play and use it as a controller. Cool, will Steam Deck work for, with PC VR headsets? This is one that I've seen a lot talk about. While technically a PC VR headset can be connected, the Steam Deck's not optimized for PC VR experiences. So I guess essentially they're saying is like, do it at your own risk, don't expect perfection type of thing. Maybe some things will work just fine, but it's not optimized for it. So if it doesn't work, don't fucking complain. Like keep it to yourself type of thing. I don't know. I don't know. Does docking the deck improve performance? No. It's more akin to plugging USB-C hub into a PC. Steam Deck runs at full performance portable mode. We already knew that. What kinds of screens do the 64 and 256 gigabyte models use? All have a glass screen. Optically bonded IPS LCD. The 512 has the anti-glare and etch treatment applied to it. That's the only difference between the screen. It's still the same thing. It just has that treatment to the screen. What kind of haptics does the Steam Deck have? The Steam Deck has dual LRA motors, one under each under each trackpad. You got them haptics. Does the audio jack support audio and mic? Yeah, of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Is the touch is the touch screen multi-touch? This is not 2001. This isn't 1999. This isn't the GameCom. <laughs> the touch screen supports 10 fingers or toes. I mean, I guess you could use your toes too. I mean, I was kind of hoping it would support 11 fingers, so I may have to cancel my reservation here. How long is the charging cable? 4.9 feet. That's the important questions right there being answered. Will Steam Deck be sold in retail stores? Only via Steam right now. We're partnering with retailers as we make Steam Deck available in more regions. More information about that soon. What can you tell us about? Buy this is one that people like have been going crazy wanting to know, and it was just kind of quite obvious. But clarification, what can you tell us about the BIOS and does it allow dual boot? Well, they can't really tell you much about the BIOS menu, but you do have access to it, and multi-boot is supported. You can have multiple OSs installed and choose which one to boot into. You have your Steam OS. You have a partition for Windows 10, Windows 11. I probably wouldn't put Windows 11 on here, not yet anyway. But you can have multiple operating systems for multiple purposes. We knew that. Can you boot an OS off the SD card? Yes. Boot from SD card. It's a bootable source. So, yeah. I've booted operating systems off of micro SD card in the past. Works just fine. It's not optimal. But in a situation like this, it's going to be fine. That's probably the way I will go about it. Um, if, I, if I decide to. If I decide to. I probably will build a uh, portable Windows uh, installation boot device on a micro SD card. Will Steam Deck support external GPUs? Is another one people want to know about. No, no external GPUs. You ain't boosting performance here. You're dealing with what you got. And then you're going to wait like a year or two on a new version, a more powerful GPU, APU, whatever, the CPU, whatever they wind up you know, having integrated. It's an APU right now. Whatever they wind up having, it, a couple years, it's boom, there's going to be a new version. Just It's bound to happen. Can I change which model? No, you can't. I'm pretty damn sure they already told you this. 
Like, you can't switch. Choose which version. Uh, did it say? I was pretty pretty damn sure somewhere. Somewhere. Maybe not right here. But somewhere it did tell you that. Like, you can't change your, your reservation. Um, the, you can, but it's starting all over. So you're going to be in the back of the line. Holy crap. You'd be quarter two. After quarter two, 2022, I'm pretty sure all three of these say that now. So there you go. The, the, the frequently asked questions. The... Uh, uh, OS off of an SD card is probably one of the more important ones. The BIOS, dual boot, that's one of the more important ones. I think all this stuff is fairly, um, like, assumed. Like, most people assumed all this for the most part. Uh, but it's nice to have some clarification. I'm hyped for this thing. I can't wait to get one in my grubby mitts and just hold it and press those buttons, lick it. I, I don't fucking know, dude. Do something with this damn thing. I can't wait. Cool, cool looking device, man. Let me know what you guys think down below. Hopefully these uh, FAQs here answered some of your questions. Appreciate it. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom.